And began in the Gulf of Mexico, picking up intensity as it moved towards the Florida coast yesterday. The storm made landfall in northwestern Florida as a Category 4 storm just after 11 o'clock local time last night. Large swathes of Florida's western coastline were placed on alert with concerns a major storm surge could threaten lives and property near where the weather system crossed the coast. Well, the storm has continued to weaken as it moves further inland, bringing rain and wind speeds of up to 30 miles an hour towards the large metropolitan areas of Atlanta and Nashville. Sky's U.S. correspondent Martha Kellner reports. In the seaside town of Cedar Key, they don't know how much more of this they can take. Helen was the third hurricane to strike here in just over a year. This, the worst one yet. However bad we imagined it would be when we were fighting this thing in the darkness, it's so much worse in the daylight. Overnight, winds of 140 miles per hour but it was the 10-foot storm surge that did the damage here. Homes, restaurants, a whole town oh swallowed. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. Residents haven't been allowed to return to Cedar Key yet. When they do get here, this is what they'll find. It must have been utterly terrifying for those who didn't evacuate as a wall of water came towards them. Three miles away from the coast, this is seawater. That's how far it travelled. It's mostly subsided now. The water came up this high. But the memory of riding out this storm in their RV will stay. Now, this is six one we've been through while we've been in this campground. Why do you think the hurricanes are so bad at the moment? It's natural weather change. That's what I believe. It's just... It was just bad luck. The heft of Helen is most striking. Treasure Island is hundreds of miles from the point of impact. But look at this. Five people died in this area, at least two from drowning. A hellish scene unfolded through the night. Old and young caught out. Anybody in your house? Most had evacuated. Emergency services rescuing others. One man and his dog saved when their boat failed 25 miles offshore. But Helen's impact has gone far beyond Florida. Georgia isn't usually affected by hurricanes. This is different. And in Tennessee, staff and patients evacuated to the roof of a hospital engulfed by flood water. Helen may have been downgraded on the hurricane scale, but numbers don't tell the story here. This is historic flooding. It's widespread and it's not over yet.